Hello guys, uh, thank you for showing up today. I want to show you on how you can sell your crypto and get money in your M-Pesa uh, in Kenyan shillings. So let's say maybe you have BNB or you have Celo or you have Gala, Ada, Caldona, yes, on Ethereum. If you want to cash out these tokens to Kenyan shillings, that is what I want to show you today. So this is my home screen on Binance. And that is where I used to buy my crypto. That's why I trade my crypto because it's very convenient and very easy to use. So I'll come to my wallet, then click on overview so that I can see what balance I have. Then I decide on how much amount I want to sell. Yes, so this is my current balance i have four zero five dollars so if i if i want to sell these ones to kenyan shillings and receive money in my mpes account then i'll come to trades if you can see by this buy crypto the markets here where you can see market movements of the day hour week monthly something like that yeah i'll click next the next video there is one for trade so this is where we are if you see on trade this is where you can convert maybe you have it's an easy conversion maybe from your by your bitcoin to your ethereum or to your usdt usdt is a stable coin yeah uh, pegged to us dollar so it's called usdt yeah this classic but today i want us to go down to here p2p yeah peer to peer once you click there just like that once you click here this window will open good mine is set to default on what i have requested or what i have said previously so here next time when you open this one it should not be kenyan shillings it will be maybe ug yeah or it will be tanzanian tanzanian shillings but for me, I want Kenyan shillings in my account, just like that. Yep. And payments, it's all payments, but I we we said we want to receive payments in our M-Pesa. So I'll click on all payments and pick M-Pesa, just like that. Very simple. Yeah. So once you are here, this is where the trick is. Yeah. So if you want to know somebody who you can trade with, you will check here at this option so if you see the person like osman osman has a merchant verified tick which is which is yellow and you see the number of orders completed is 200 and the completion rate is 97 so this is where the game is definitely you will pick a person who has done more orders and it was a higher completion rate because that person has been trusted by Binance and other traders. So is on the best to buy. Uh, so let's pick let's pick the first person. Definitely, when you see the first person above here, gives you the best orders. Yeah. So, but again, one thing again, if you can see the price of dollar is 111 don't see something at 120 150 and pick it i'm very sure that one will be gone just pick a reasonable amount this one this is very reasonable 111 118 to 115 that's very reasonable but something 150 200 never pick that one because we've never received your money and again this is another option there's a limit here uh, maybe uh, this person is only accepting uh, i can sell to him usdt between 5000 to 43000 so if i want to sell to him only for 1000 then this is not the best for me i i love to scroll down scroll down and i'll get one for 1000 kenyan shillings like this person here called kimi then i'll sell to kimi but for me i want to sell the, to this person the first one above here uh, i want for around 10,000 Kenyan shillings. So, oh, sorry. And here, there's an option above here. It is very important. If I want to buy from this person, this is what I will do. But what I want to do is I want to sell. I have tokens in my account. I have USDT in my account. So I want to sell to 
these persons. So I'll click on this person who has done no, definitely I'll come down to this person. I want to do a transaction. This one was done 2,000 orders. Yeah, no, this one. So that is how you choose why. This person has done 528 orders, 89 completion. 89 means this person might not be online uh, and is also not verified. So I want to do a transaction with Kiddy. Yeah, I'll come here and sell USDT to this person. And the amount I need in Kenyan shillings is 10,000 Kenyan shillings. That is $90. So I'll click on sell USDT. Sell USDT, just like that. And my order has been placed. So we wait. We wait for this person to send money in my M-Pesa. I'm just waiting. And you see, there is this, this name. It's called Kyoko Masimi. <coughs> Kyoko Msimi is the M-Pesa name I should see. If somebody different sends money to my account, then I don't know that person. And I might not accept that transaction. But if I receive M-Pesa in my account from Kyoko Msimi worth the 10,000, I'll confirm from my M-Pesa and these will be available. This icon for confirm release will be available once my money is in my M-Pesa. Never click this option if money is not in your M-Pesa. Yeah. If you receive money in your M-Pesa, confirm that the money is real. Maybe you can transfer to your M-Shuary. Maybe you can send to somebody else, but do that within the shortest time possible because this person is on business, so don't delay him so much. Uh, once this person makes payment to me, we'll mark as paid from his side. Then this option will be available. I'll check in my M-Pesa. If the money is available, then I will then I will have to say I have received this one. Yeah, just very simple. Yeah, so I have money from Kyoko. It is from Equity Bank. Yes, so for security purposes, I'm going to send that money to my insurer as I wait for him to click here. On, I have paid so that I can confirm and at least USDT to him, but at the moment, as I have received the money, I'm going to send the money to my sanctuary for security purposes. Maybe somebody might decide to reverse. So it's possible they can decide to reverse. So I'll deposit to sanctuary amount of 10,000 for security purposes. That is it is advisable to do that. Yeah, so my money is in M surety, so it is irreversible at the moment. So I'm waiting for him to say that he has paid to me. And again, uh, Binance will, once he clicks that, Binance will actually send me a message. Yeah, Binance will send me a message. It will send me a message once this person says he has paid. There's a prompt that will come here and it will show me that Kyoko has marked payment as complete. Please release tokens to him. Once you confirm, you have received the amount. Yeah. yeah actually, I have received the same message now. So it is this one to update. Maybe I can refresh it. Maybe I can refresh it again. Let's see because Binance have sent me a message that the buyer has marked B2P order 568 has paid. Please release the crypto ASAP after confirming the payment has been received. That is very important. It's after confirming, you have to confirm that you have received the amount. So let's wait. Yeah, so thank you. has marked it as paid. Yeah, this is it. So you will click on confirm release and i will confirm this then you confirm release again get the code to confirm that i'm the one who is accepting to sell this token it should be in my phone it's here for one three six two one yeah that is it and the coins will be released to 
key yoko. You see, money, the uh, crypto has been sent to him and I have received money in my M-Pesa. So actually it is that, that, that simple. Yeah, it is that, that simple. I want again to show you maybe, kindly a minute, let me show you again. You know, let me show you the exact messages that I have received on my phone. You know. Yes, so guys, again, uh, actually, this is what you can see. Uh, once I was paid money, there is money I received here. You can see there is money from Kyoko. It's uh, Kyoko has sent you 10,000. So what you do, you send that money immediately to your emissary. Yeah, you send that money confirmed and transfer to your emissary. That is what you should always do for you to stay alert. And Binance will send you a message, this one. The buyer has marked B2P order as paid. So it is that simple actually. Yeah, that, that simple, yeah.